Good day everyone. Welcome to JBS Wiki. In today's video, we will be diving into Azure Key Vault and addressing a common error you might encounter. The operation is not allowed by RBAC. I will walk you through what this error means and how to resolve it step by step. Let's get started. What I'm going to do, I'm uh, currently on a key vault called uh, uh, JB MySQL Key Vault. Yeah. So now what I'm going to do, I'm uh, going to uh, create a new key here. So let's click on uh, generate import. And then uh, what I'll do is like I will uh, give a name here, uh, JB MySQL Key. Yeah and uh, um, uh, I will not uh, create a uh, set a activation date but I will set an expiration date which would be like uh, two years from now yeah and then what I'll do I will leave everything else as um, a default and then let's click on create so if you see here uh, what we're able to see is like uh, we are uh, getting an error and uh, when I click on that error what we are able to see is like uh, it is basically telling that uh, the operation is not allowed by RBAC. If role assi assignments were recently changed, please wait several minutes for role assignments to become effective. Yeah. So the raw error is scholar is not authorized to perform action on resource. So this is the error we are getting. This error uh, typically occurs due to insufficient permissions or issue with uh, role-based uh, access control that is your RBAC settings most common reasons for the error would be uh, lack of uh, necessary permissions uh, maybe recent changes in the role assignments not yet propagated incorrect role or scope assigned to the user or service principle yeah so now what we'll do is like let's um, uh, go back to uh, 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 that error here yeah so let's go to this uh, key vault and then what we will uh, do let's go to this access control IAM yeah and then let's um, click on uh, add role assignments yeah and then what we'll do is like we will uh, try adding uh, the uh, user over is uh, trying to um, access or try creating this key as um, uh, like uh, we have two options here either you can create it as a key vault contributor or a key vault administrator yeah as the name indicates key vault administrator is going to have a higher privilege uh, key vault contributor uh, compared to administrator will have a, a lower privilege yeah in this case what I'm going to do I'm going to uh, add the user as a key vault administrator and then try creating the key and see what happens yeah so um, Let's uh, search for this um, uh, key vault administrator. Yep, here we have. Let's click on next. And then here, let's click on select members. I'm going to uh, pause the video. Let me uh, key in the required users and then I will uh, resume it back. Okay, so I have the required uh, user selected. So let's uh, select it. And then now I'm uh, going to click on uh, next. And then let's uh, review and assign. Let's wait for it to complete and then we will try creating it so right now it is uh, added so now what I'm going to do I'm uh, going to try creating the key one more time yeah so let's uh, name it as uh, JB MySQL key yep let's set the expiration date everything else would be default here so the goal is uh, not to create a better key, but the goal is to solve the error that we have here. Yeah. So let's create on. Uh, uh, okay. So uh, if you can see now, we are able to create the key without any issues. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Jai Hind.